Hello everybody and welcome! As some of you already know, I was invited to talk to developers of the upcoming sequel to KSP, Kerbal Space Program 2. While I was there, I also got a chance to have a look at the new user interface for KSP 2 and since usability and UI design are areas where I have a bit of experience, let me share with you what lessons we might already learn from how the interface has already changed in comparison to the original. To preface this, everything I show you here is based on two things. Snippets of the UI you could hardly make out in the dev story video posted together with the announcement of Kerbal Space Program 2, and some glimpses I personally managed to see of the unfinished game during PAX West in Seattle. Unfortunately, we were not allowed to take any pictures. Before we start, I gotta ask no filming, no photography. But I drew a sketch of what I have seen and tried to recreate the UI with Photoshop. So here it is. There are a few things to unpack here, some more obvious than others. The Kerbal portraits have moved from the bottom right to the top left, the nav ball moved from the bottom center to the bottom left, the staging UI has switched sides and the time warp and altitude information have moved from the top to the bottom. That's what you can already see, but what does it mean? The old UI was all over the place. You had vital info like altitude on the top, but other vital info like orientation via the nav ball on the bottom edge of the screen. The new UI seems to try to focus the player's gaze on the bottom half of the screen for anything that requires readouts of flight data. Personally, I think this is a good thing and will make tough landings less stressful. Moving the staging UI to the right keeps it in line with the display in the editor. I never understood why it moved to the left just because you launched your vehicle, so there's consistency now. I'm just curious about the big green go button. Do they expect people to hover over there with their mouse and click on it? Or is this already designed with console or might I even say it mobile players in mind? Moving the Kerbals to the top left keeps in line with focusing on the things that matter. They are a nice touch, sure, but completely irrelevant to the controlling of your vehicle. One thing that is also apparent is the new design language of the UI. While Kerbal Space Program 1 had a bit of a skeuomorphic thing going on, meaning trying to replicate the look and feel of real-world interfaces, mainly the navball, KSP2 keeps things a lot more flat, abstract and streamlined with some transparency going on. This makes the UI look a lot cleaner and might help finding the correct element in a hurry. One thing they showed off that is completely new is the orientation indicator. When in space, a gizmo appears next to the navball with an icon representing your ship, changing its orientation based on whether you are pointing it prograde, retrograde, normal, etc. The developers think this will make less experienced players realize more easily in which direction they are going in space. I already have more than 4000 hours of the game time, so I can't really speak to that. But what do you think about this? Will this make things less complicated when in space? Tell me in the comments. I save the main realization for last. Moving the nav ball to the left and instead putting the time warp info front and center is a curious choice. And after I've had a chance to speak with the developers, I doubt this was done on a pure whim. I assume, and here I am now completely in the realm of speculation, that we will see changes to how time warp works. Think about it. Having physical and regular time warp act completely different in the original KSP was always a bit weird. You could also use time warp as a way to cheat, freezing a craft in position should it rotate or anything and you want to stop it immediately. Also, since we're getting interstellar propulsion, we will see the need for an engine to fire for days, maybe weeks without end. All of this could mean that time warp could take a more important place in Kerbal Space Program 2 than it did in the original, but we will see. They also showed the VAB in action and for a brief glimpse the new blueprint mode in which you will be able to also build vehicles. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to see enough of it uh, to talk about it as much as I did of the flight UI, but I'm very curious to try it out. There are also a lot of things we haven't seen yet. We haven't seen a map view. 
We haven't seen any glimpse of the Space Center or any other building than the VAB. The entire Colony Building Editor interface is still a mystery. And of course we haven't seen any menus or other rather low-level stuff. There's also the question whether or not Kerbal Space Program 2 will rely on right-click menus as heavily as the original did, or if they found a better solution. Anyhow, that's my quick analysis of what the new user interface for Kerbal Space Program 2 already tells us about the game. So what do you think about what you saw and my comments on it? Let me know in these comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like and share it and if you haven't already, please subscribe for more fun space madness and join me on Twitter. Thanks for watching, goodbye.